Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I just want to give an update of some of the things we're looking at, some changes that need to be made, uh, and some difficulties I've had for this week. Uh, this week I did have some difficulty with recording videos. I wanted to do more reviews uh, this week. I know I wanted to review on the uh, Heroes, the expansion packs for Dungeon Dwellers. I didn't get a chance to do that. I do have a family, and so sometimes it does get loud in here. Uh, so it's kind of hard to record. I do work a lot of hours, and so sometimes by the time I get home, when everyone goes to bed, it's time for me to go to bed too, just because I'm exhausted from the day. Uh, however, in time, I do plan to do more videos. Also, wanted to, I also wanted to apologize for the sound quality. I know it's not the best. I am using an Action Pro camera. It does record in 1080p, which is nice. Um, however, the audio or the mic on it is very poor. I did figure out a way to hook it up to my computer and use my computer to record and use the mic off of that, which is better, it's not the best. Uh, in time, I do plan to get another microphone, uh, and eventually I want to get a whole other camera altogether with a uh, built-in or a, uh, external microphone to record sound better. Uh, right now, uh, this is what I have, it is on my time and my resources. However, if someone wanted to donate me a camera, <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it, but I'm realistic, I know it's not going to happen. So I'm just content with what I have for right now since it's out of my own pocket. I'm trying to do everything as cheap as I can uh, without with limited expenses. Obviously the lighting will get better. I know I need to get better lighting. Uh, but that's where I'm at. Um, I hope you guys are okay with that for the time being. If not, I do apologize. It's out of my hands. I'm not going to rush out and get a bunch of equipment uh, when I'm just starting off. Eventually when I get more viewers, more subscribers, uh, obviously, I'll get better equipment as time goes by. The way you can help me with that is like and share my videos and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. Eventually, you know, there'll be a lot better things to look at. Uh, for instance, I'm going to Gen Con 50 this year. I hope to see you there. I'm going to the trade day. Uh, I am a counselor in training, as you guys know, or if you didn't know. Uh, and so I'm going to be able to go to trade day, get some experience there. Uh, I'm hopefully getting a press pass so I can write either a book or journal article depending on how much uh, information I can gain at Gen Con about the therapeutic properties of games. Uh, if you guys see me at Gen Con, uh, feel free to stop me. Obviously I have questions to ask people and families about their experience with games. I'd like to interview you if possible. Uh, and some of the changes that need to be made uh, with this channel is that I have to change the name. Currently the series is called Gaming with a Purpose. However, after uploading some of my videos and doing my own searches on YouTube for my videos, I've come to find out there are a lot of Gaming with a Purpose videos out there. And so to be able to change some of that, I need to change the name. And this is where I need your guys' help. I need you to vote on the new name uh, for the series. So right now, this is what I'm looking at. One, Faithfield Gamer. Two, Faithfield Gamer Reviews. Three, Christian Gamer. Four, Christian Gamer Review. And five, Christian Adventure Gamer. Uh, obviously, I am a Christian, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, and so, I want to kind of explain some of my intro. I know you look at the intro and you see the, all those, the pictures of the demonic uh, miniatures and stuff. And the miniatures that you see are the miniatures that I have personally painted. Uh, I'm kind of proud of that. That's something I've been able to accomplish with my own hands. Uh, and so, all those pictures you see in the intro are mine. I love adventure games. I love RPG style games. Uh, I believe that God has created man uh, to be adventurous. And so I, I really enjoy being that source of good, going in and trying to vanquish evil. Uh, that's my style of gaming. However, I do enjoy other games. I do like uh, uh, resource management games. I enjoy party games. Uh, there's not a type of game that I probably won't play. However, there are some games that I will not do reviews on and will not play. One being Conan. Uh, just because I heard that the uh, artwork in, in the book is very graphic. I won't play uh, Cards Against Humanity uh, just because some of the card combinations are just very vulgar or uh, wrong in my eyes. It's something that doesn't sit well with me. I've never played it, but I know people that have. And they've told me you know, how fun the game is and told me about some of the card components, and I've just decided that uh, this is not a game I want my family to play, my kids, so I don't want to play it. Uh, I do play Super Dungeon Explorer, but my only main concern is how they portray women with the very skimpy outfits. However, when I do some of my painting videos, you'll see that I try to add extra clothing in the painting or shirts or coverings to cover more so it doesn't look so graphic. Uh, 
some of the uh, reviews I plan on doing are on a multitude of games, uh, from old to current to future games. I also will do some games and talk about the uh, therapeutic properties of them. Uh, for instance, I work with you know some kids that have ADHD, so like Dr. Eureka is a great game. It's a phenomenal game for kids with ADHD. Uh, it's a game where you have different colored balls and you have to put them into different test tubes and you have to match a pattern. So one, you're teaching them how to organize. Two, you're teaching them impulse control because if you tip it too much, you're going to dump all your balls into one tube or you're going to lose it. And when they lose it, I mean, some of them can become emotional, so you're teaching them emotion regulation. And so there's just you know different games that can teach different um, skills. And as time goes by, you'll see some of those skills I'm talking about. Uh, also, older games, a Hero Quest. Uh, I plan to do a review on. I know there's you know the game is old. I know there's probably a dozen reviews, but I want to do my own. Uh, that's the game that got me introduced into gaming. Uh, when a few years ago. Uh, I was looking for the game that me and my brothers played when I was a kid. Couldn't remember what it was called, so I did some Google searching. And so I found Descent, second edition, coming out. Bef back then it hadn't released yet, but it was on pre-order, so I went ahead and pre-ordered it. And then I found uh, Castle, Ra Castle Ravenloft. Uh, and then eventually I found some other games through Fantasy Flight, and then went to Gen Con for the first time, and everything changed. And so now I have like a multitude of games. I plan to do a review on party games. Uh, we have like a shelf that you can't see off camera. Filled with party games, when company comes over, we can just pull something off the shelf. Uh, we have uh, Simpsons Clue. It's an older game on International Tabletop Day. That was a game that my daughter chose to play. And through the game, uh, we played it before, but it's just a fun version of Clue. I mean, who doesn't like The Simpsons? Uh, the Simpsons now is probably different than The Simpsons I grew up with. But the different components, you know, Homer, Marge... Uh, Lisa and Bart, and just the different weapons, you know, like the donut, uh, the uh, rod of plutonium, stuff like that. Uh, just a, it's a good rendition of the clue. I just like to go through that. Some of the older ones, too, are like Thunderstone Advance. It's now out of print. It's kind of a current game, but it's out of print. I was sad when it was out of print. A uh, really great game. I liked it. However, there is Thunderstone Advance, or sorry, Thunderstone Quest that's coming out in the future. Right now, it just finished on Kickstarter. And one of the other older games that I'm looking at doing reviews on is this game here. It's called Dread Pirate. My friend Parker introduced me to this game, and this is the Treasure Box version. Uh, as you can see, there is a map here that your ships will travel on. Uh, and then there's the instructions, and then here is the uh, bag of treasure. Uh, and then here are metal doubloons, which um, I enjoy it when they give metal components because the sound it makes, it sounds like real gold. And then the metal ships. Uh, this game does not get very good reviews. Uh, or I mean, like, it's a, I think it's like a 5.6 or something on Board Game Geek. It's okay. Um, however, uh, I really like this game when we played it, and I thought it's worth taking a look at. And so I wanted to do a review of it, and I hope that you would enjoy that. Uh, some of the current games that we're looking at are the D&D series. I mean, the Castle Ravenloft. I think they're out of print now, but you can still purchase them. Uh, there's Wrath of Shardalon, Temple of Elemental Evil, and Legend of Drizzt, or Drizzt, however you pronounce it. There is Warhammer Quest, not, not the old version. I don't have it, and it's hard to get a full copy of that. I've looked on eBay, and I don't have $200 to spend on a game that I've never played before. Uh, there's the Hammer, uh, Warhammer Quest, Silver Tower, and then Shadows over Hammer Hall. I do plan to do a review of those. Uh, there is uh, Descent. I have almost all the expansions except for one. I've even beta tested, I think, three different expansions through Fantasy Flight. Uh, Fuse, Zombie 15, just to give some examples. I do have some current Kickstarter games that, that I have in hand that I want to do reviews on. So like Dungeon Saga. I have like all the expansions and everything from the Kickstarter. I have uh, the Mega Man that, that was uh, given to me. I have um, the Super Dungeon Explorer, the, the most recent one that previously released on Kickstarter, not the Legends. Uh, that is one that I do plan on doing in the future. Another future one that I have is the Seamon Massive Dark, and then hopefully soon I can have Sword and Sorcery in my hands to do a review on. Um, but those are some of the, the videos that I'm looking at. Again, Go ahead and vote for the name change. I'd appreciate any feedback. If you guys have any feedback on how ways that I can improve my channel, please list those in the comments below. I'm willing to listen to my, my viewers. 
Uh, if you like what you're hearing and what you're seeing, again, like and share. If you want to be a part of this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, have a wonderful day.